Hi, welcome to the Linux channel. Often times, uh, once you start uh, learning about uh, programming and uh, uh, once you start uh, learning uh, the differences between uh, uh, structured programming versus uh, object oriented programming and uh, there is a point uh, where in which you start learning about uh, uh, various uh, systems concepts and uh, uh, basics in uh, C programming and uh, there may be a point in which uh, uh, in your uh, college textbooks and uh, in case if you are uh, um, uh, doing a sort of programming course, uh, there may be a situation that they may suggest you uh, to completely avoid using go to statements. Uh, if you are uh, using uh, C code and if you are using C++ code, uh, they will uh, suggest you to use uh, the try catch uh, statements uh, uh, constructs. Uh, the programming constructs as so uh, they often suggest uh, the go to statements are not a good way to write your uh, structured programming uh, uh, code uh, program code uh, programs or code and uh, there is also a uh, different reason that uh, in case if you use go to there is a sort of confusion happens uh, uh, in terms of your code readability and as well as uh, uh, they insist uh, uh, the altering the flow of the code will cause sort of confusion uh, within your code so this is the reason exactly uh, the uh, usage of go to statements is uh, always suggested to be avoided or in case in case if you are using lot of go to statements in within your code uh, they sometimes uh, ask you to uh, eliminate these statements and replace the entire uh, code with uh, structured uh, uh, you know uh, coding constructs as such. and once you start uh, learning and uh, reading about uh, linux kernel source and once you go uh, go through the source code and do a code walk of uh, linux kernel source uh, you will be quite amazed to see the abundant usage of go to statements and you can uh, uh, find almost uh, in a single api uh, they may use uh, like uh, <laughs> three or four uh, go to uh, statement constructs and uh, go to labels within a single api there are cases as so other than that uh, you may even uh, find uh, various uh, uh, kernel modules and uh, network stack also using uh, go to statements uh, abundantly so, so the idea behind the usage of uh, go to statements within the kernel source are for multiple reasons one is to keep the code uh, as simple as possible and in this uh, case on a contradictory belief uh, using a go to statement causes a confusion and uh, a readability of the source code in the linux kernel source it's been used in a creative way so that uh, if you want to handle a error condition uh, you can uh, almost skip with this go to in in case if you are writing an api and in case if you are hitting out any sort of error condition something like this as you can see here, here there is a go to statement, but we can take some other example. Let us say in this, yeah. As you can see here, if there is an error, you know, the uh, control has been transferred to go to unlock and uh, within the unlock, they are doing that error conditioning, uh, 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 error uh, 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 API uh, to handle the error and then uh, it is doing a uh, return of the API as such. Whereas if everything goes well, uh, the uh, flow of the code continues as such. So, in this way, what happens is you may find various uh, places in the Linux kernel source using the go to in this way. So this way it makes the code a lot more easier. And if there are multiple error cases, for all the error cases, you can uh, branch out with a single go to statement within the API. So, so there is no uh, sort of confusion of the flow. There is nowhere, uh, uh, you know, uh, a go to statement coming out of a uh, function and skipping onto a different uh, uh, area of the code. Whereas uh, in the kernel source, you will often uh, find the go-to statements within the function APIs and uh, the control flows within the APIs. So, so this way uh, you are guaranteed with respect to the context and the flow of your uh, code and it also eliminates any sort of rogue errors or bugs within your kernel source. Other than that in the kernel source uh, you can also find uh, Go to statements are being used uh, in another uh, uh, case like to uh, uh, do some sort of code optimization because once you compile this code and once you get the binary uh, or the assembly code out of this uh, C compiled code, you will find uh, the assembly code is highly optimized and everywhere uh, there is a go to statement is involved, the assembly code is highly optimized because uh, these statement gets converted into uh, branching statements within the assembly code like jump statements so in this way what happens is there is least amount of uh, uh, optimization issues 
can happen uh, you know with go to statement so this is also one way if you branch with go to statement you can actually do a code compilation uh, a sample code compilation uh, by writing a user space uh, c program uh, one with go to statement and one without go to statement but strictly following the structured uh, you know coding logic you can find there is lot of unwanted code can be eliminated with a simple uh, go to statement just the way it has been used in the linux kernel uh, source and in case if you are uh, uh, running the kernel uh, which is cpu intensive code and uh, if um, if there is a sort of um, uh, network stack or something like uh, encryption modules you are writing and uh, what happens is these kind of iterations happens for each packet or each file if you are doing some sort of uh, encrypted file system or a compressed file system or some sort of vpn based network uh, 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 engines or else uh, some sort of uh, uh, network compression engines what happens is in these cases code optimization is uh, the most important factor and uh, you need to consider this particular uh, code a single line of such code will run per packet or per instance of uh, you know the data uh, chunk whatever it is processing as so in that way it is lot more important to understand what way you can write the most optimized code so that even the compiler can generate the optimized you know binary output of this compiled source code so this is the reason go to statements are used by and large uh, throughout the uh, linux kernel source and you can find uh, uh, in various places it's also used for uh, optimization and as well as to improve the code readability and it is used uh, in a safer way as so in case if you are uh, uh, coming from user space programming and if you are uh, into st strictly into writing a, a structured programming without any go to statements you should also understand there is a different world exists and there is nothing wrong in using uh, go to statements so, so that's all guys for this episode hope you guys liked watching this video please do subscribe to this channel and in case if you are interested you can uh, check out my uh, research project which i am uh, working which is called as uh, toffee as well as uh, toffee mocha toffee is a van optimization uh, project uh, open source uh, linux kernel based van optimization solution whereas uh, toffee mocha is a linux kernel based van emulation or a network uh, simulation uh, software which i'm uh, currently working on as it so it gives you a lot of uh, insight in terms of uh, learning uh, uh, and controlling your network flow and uh, uh, with uh, uh, something a platform like uh, you know linux operating system and it also gives a platform for you to understand uh, you can uh, uh, do research beyond uh, the networks what you see in the everyday world such as uh, you know deep space networks so i'm uh, very much interested in uh, doing research in uh, satellite based and especially deep space uh, networks as so you can uh, read various articles which i published in uh, uh, toffee uh, website and as well as in case if you like supporting the toffee project you can sponsor the same and the funds uh, which you are sponsoring or else contributing to the uh, project are going to also indirectly going to help me in uh, these uh, youtube videos so that i can contribute further uh, uh, to the public and uh, you know share uh, my uh, ideas and share my research and uh, and also uh, give a sort of you know knowledge share to you guys so thank you have a nice day bye bye